everybody. Uh, we're we're here with uh, the body uh, of one of the ballistic missiles that was launched from Iran directly to Israel. These uh, ballistic missiles are ones that has 500 kilos of explosives in the warhead. We are talking about over 110 ballistic missiles coming from Iran aiming towards Israel. These are 60 tons of explosives directly to Israel. Iran knew that when she was firing over 110 ballistic missiles, besides the cruise missiles, the rockets, the drones, firing 110 ballistic missiles is an escalation to the region, is a dangerous escalation. If those ballistic missiles would have hit Israel, it would cause a, a dangerous consequences to the region. But Israel has been working for years, building cutting-edge technology, defense capabilities from the air, from the sea, from the land. And our project for years, defense project for years in layers, have proved itself. Iran failed. Only four missiles have hit Neva team base, which a minor damage, a minor damage. Neva team base functions completely. Jets are flying, F-35s are flying to mission to defend the Israeli airspace. And we are working completely from Neva team base. And that's it. Only four missiles from 110, over 350 drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles were intercepted by Israel, but not just by Israel. A significant thing occurred on Saturday night. A coalition was activated. A coalition led by United States, with the United Kingdom, France, and other countries in the region. This coalition have intercepted 99% of the threats coming to Israel. Iran has failed. And something else has happened. This coalition is directing a message to Iran. We will not allow this aggression in the region. This coalition is an opportunity for the Middle East, a strategic opportunity for the Middle East for countries who share the same threat from Iran. For years, we're talking only about the nuclear threat from Iran. While at that time, Iran was building a conventional threat, meaning to create a ring of fire across Israel. And on Saturday night, she emphasized this ring of fire, firing from the Houthis in Yemen, from Hezbollah in the north, in Lebanon, from the militias in Iraq. Since the 7th of October, Iran also uses the militias in Syria and also Hamas, who's backed Iran with direction, with arms, with money. This is Iran. Iran is the main terror organization, the biggest one, the sponsor of terror organization in the region, but not just in the region. It goes way beyond to Ukraine. We have learned a lot of knowledge we've conducted on Saturday night, the biggest defense aerial combat. And we will give our lesson learned to other countries that has the same threats, like the Shahids from Iran, not just the Shahids, the cruise missiles, and also the ballistic missiles. We cannot stand still from this kind of aggression. Iran will not get scot free with this aggression. Admiral, when will you strike back? Firing 110 ballistic missiles directly to Israel will not get scot free. We will respond in our time, in our place, in the way that we will choose. How do you respond without creating a further escalation? You have to let the general go and we'll give you some a chance for pictures. Last question, then we'll give you a chance for pictures and the estimate. How do you respond without further escalating this conflict? We will respond the way that we will choose at the time that we will choose. We don't just have offensive capabilities who were proven on Saturday night. We have very good 
We don't, we don't just have defensive capabilities we were proven on Saturday night. We have offensive capabilities. We will know what to do and when to do and how to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.